Hi everyone, myself Dr. Vino. Today I will discuss about the silently increasing cases of post-COVID hip bone death are also called as avascular necrosis of femoral head. This type of post-COVID hip bone death typically occurs in males than in females commonly in age group 30 to 50 years, generally 3 to 6 months after recovering from COVID-19 infection. Similar to this condition, it happened in 2003 in China after patients recovering from SARS outbreak. So what is the cause for this increase in cases of post-COVID hip bone death and what are the treatment methods available? Let me explain in this video. Coming to the basics, what is mean by avascular necrosis or bone death? Generally, each bone have difference in their blood supply and each part of a single bone have difference in blood sharing or blood supply. So, let me explain with the help of a bone model. See, this is a femoral bone of right side. See, this part is called head, this is called neck and this is the shaft part of the femur. Generally, this more than half of the neck as well as the head part of the femur will have compromised blood supply due to some pathology if there is further reduction in the blood supply this part of the femoral bone which means the head and the proximal part of the neck will go for necrosis it is which means death which is called avascular necrosis or bone death due to lack of blood supply even some other bones are also prone for this avascular necrosis typically scaphoid bone in our wrist and talus bone in the ankle why there is increase in cases of hip bone death after recovering from COVID-19 infection, the major culprit is the usage of steroids. Even though steroids are the life-saving drug in case of cytokine storm in COVID-19 infection, when used in increased doses or for increased duration, steroid has its own adverse effects. That's why steroids are termed as a double-edged sword. Steroid induces bone death also called as avascular necrosis via multiple mechanisms. Three important ones are first steroids directly act on bone cells and affect them to cause apoptosis or programmed cell death of bone cells. Second one generally our bone marrow contains stem cells which are capable of transforming into any type of cell but these steroids convert the stem cells into useless fat cells or adipocytes. These fat cells accumulate inside the medullary cavity or bone marrow and they increase the intramedullary pressure which further decreases the blood supply to the affected part. Third mechanism, steroids directly inhibits collagen synthesis as well as growth factors required for angiogenesis which means synthesis of new blood vessels which reduces the reparative potential of the affected bone and which causes progression of the bone death. Coming to the most important question, if a patient didn't take steroids during treatment of COVID-19, is it true that he is less likely to develop post-COVID hip bone death? Unfortunately, the answer is no because as per post-mortem reports of patient died due to COVID-19, they had multiple blood clots in the blood vessels supplying the major organs, generally lungs or heart. So, COVID-19 infection itself is a procoagulable state. So, if a patient had blood clot in the artery supplying the femoral head, he will end up with post-COVID hip bone death after recovering from COVID-19. Infection. What are the symptoms in patient with post-COVID hip bone death? Initially, patient will have mild pain during prolonged walking. He may take an analgesic and the pain will be relieved. But once the bone is affected further and there will be collapse of the femoral head, then he will have restriction of movements and he will be unable to sit in a crossed leg position or unable to do squatting. So I will show in this bone model, this is the affected femoral head, assume this. So this will be a hip joint here, the proximal part of the femoral head articulates with the acetabulum, this part. So generally when this part is affected initially, only there will be mild pain during walking. So but when once the major part of the femoral head is involved, this part will collapse. So 
he will be unable to do the normal movements and he will be unable to sit cross leg which require further motion which will be unable to do because of the collapse of the femoral head what are the investigation methods required to diagnose post covid hip bone death initial investigation of choice is x ray but in x ray the bone death will be visible only in the later stage so initially we divide the avascular necrosis of hip into four stages initially in the first stage the x ray finding will be normal only patient will have minor pain so x ray will be of use only in the later stage of the disease but mri is the investigation of choice in all stage of the disease as well as to plan the treatment what are the treatment methods available for hip bone death treatment methods differs for each stage of the disease at stage 1 disease nearly complete recovery is possible with the help of bisphosphonate kind of medication in stage 2 disease we prefer core decompression technique with or without bone grafting here we do multiple drill holes in the bone to release the pressure within the femoral head in stage 3 disease the treatment option depends upon the age of the patient if the age of the patient is less than 50 years we prefer femoral head preserving surgeries which means assume this part is only affected we do a bone cut here and replace this part with the posterior part or the back part so that unhealthy side is taken from the weight bearing area and healthy side is replaced with it so by this we are preserving the femoral head in a young patient if the patient age is more than 50 years we replace the femoral head along with the neck with the metal prosthesis which means a metal ball with a stem will be inserted in them in stage 4 disease both the femoral head as well as the acetabular cup both are affected so we need to replace both of them so it is called as total hip replacement in stage 3 disease what we did is a partial hip replacement but here we will replace the affected femoral head with a prosthetic femoral head and a stem as well as acetabular area will be replaced by an acetabular prosthesis called as acetabular cup what are the precautionary measures to prevent bone death if you had recovered from covid 19 with or without steroid intake try to avoid or reduce alcohol and smoking for the next one year because these two can increase the chance of getting bone death next try to reduce the blood cholesterol level or keep the cholesterol level within normal limits because this also can further increase the chance of bone death even if you have mild hip pain after recovering from covid 19 better consult an orthopedician as early as possible since there is near complete recovery in the early stages even with the help of medications if you find this video useful do like and share and also subscribe to dr vinod's medi360 channel for future videos thank you